Greetings, my name is Zairya Parekh and with Mana Nasha, we're going to explain you about the image compression standards. With the content that we cover, you'll be able to understand the need for such a standard. We'll explain you about the bi-level, the continuous tone, ICSs. We're going to explain you about the research and the recent trends in this particular field. And to, with conclusion, we also have added some references to the information bits that we have used. So what is the need for an image compression standard? Now we understand that we are using image files across uh, communication channels. We'll be sending and receiving them or storing them on our device. Now with a lot of encoders and decoders out there in the market, we need to ensure that we have the correct setup or the correct information uh, once we receive it. And to ensure that this uh, synchronization and this compatibility is present across devices we have international standardization agencies such as the iso the itu and iec that have been working on proposals from industry universities and research laboratories the types of the image compression standards so we have still images and we have two kinds of still images one that can be represented with one bit of information that is zero or one or the gray scaled images or continuous tone images Let's start with the CCITT Group 3. The Consultative Committee of International Telephone and Telegraph Group 3 uh, standardization technique is a lossless technique and it is primarily used for fax machines and hence you can have the aliases of uh, the particular technique. So what it uses is modified Huffman for one dimensional compression and it uses the M read for two-dimensional compression. How does it work? Let's understand it. Every kth line of information bits is coded by the RLE method and every other line by the read code. Uh, to ensure the start of the document is marked properly, it uses a white pixel. To synchronize every line, it will use a EOL or the end of line. It will use six of them to conclude a page. Even if a corruption happens, it will only uh, affect the K-1 scan lines. So when it enters the buffer with this information, it will go to RLE or read. And this is the result that it will generate. Here are the advantages, disadvantages, and the application of the same. Now, because of its advantages, it is widely used in fax machines. But we need to overcome the disadvantages that is for the low resolution images and improve uh, its implementability in a software. To overcome this, we have the group four. The group four is also proposed by the same group, but is streamlined for only two dimensional encoding techniques. How does it work? Let's understand that. So it uses a combination of the information that the G3, the group three had for two dimensional. Uh, so it will only use the read uh, encoding technique uh, while it all still uses the sort of line with a white pixel but it has replaced the RLE block with the EOFB code so that it can understand uh, two-dimensional encoding uh, still EOL has been used for uh, synchronizing the code with end of pages or end of line the advantages uh, we know that the group 3 was already good on the hardware, but the group 4 even does not take a toll on the hardware, which improves the compression technique with the same hardware. So it is consistent with its application. But uh, unfortunately, it is even more complicated to apply on a software. And that's why uh, it is only useful for data that is residing on the disk drives and data networks so that it does not have multiple iterations of compressions and decompressions. This is the performance. Uh, so for a low resolution or a high resolution image, we can understand that the schemes are, that is nothing but group three and group four. The group four performs better because it uses less number of bits per pixel to represent the information. It has lower time uh, while performing its operations and it delivers a relatively higher compression ratio. Moving ahead, we have the JPEG-1 or just the JPEG. It is proposed by the Joint uh, Bi-Level Image Processing Group for binary images. Now, what good it does is it has different uh, techniques for uh, compressing different elements of a document. 
maybe there's a handwritten text or there is an image on the page or some other things it will use these uh, lossless compressions for uh, all of these let's understand the individual bit plane part and the progressive or the sequential encoding part in the next slide so this is the functional blocks of jib as i said it uses different techniques for different elements of the page it will use an adaptive template block for half tone uh, for half toned images uh, it improves the efficiency there uh, it uses the typical prediction block uh, which helps us to you know improve the compression furthermore uh, resolution reduction block because obviously we are compressing it so we are going to go to a lower resolution version of this image and the deterministic predictive, uh, prediction block helps us to understand where the neighboring pixels in a lower re resolution image will be the advantage is on a good day it improves the compression by a 30 fold and even in the worst case scenarios it gives at least 20 to 50 percent of improvement the disadvantage though it's a licensed product you can't use it freely and that is why it it, it does not meet the intended application it was made for uh, but anyway we have the jbig2 which is the newer standard version but it, this is completely free it can be used for lossy lossless or lossy to lossless compressions and it again has the segmentation uh, quality to it because it provides the generic uh, the half tone and the text uh, encoding differently so as I was uh, as I explained earlier as well, consider this is your document, this is some generic set of data which is already present in the dictionary or it already understands this kind of data. There's the textual data and there is a half tone data. Now what it does is it uses different techniques for different uh, parameters. The half tone may be coded with a multi-level image uh, along with a pattern and grid parameters. It will use a dictionary for already known items it will encode the uh, symbol with the help of this dictionary and the soft pattern matching or the refinement coding is uh, when a symbol is coded using a similar previously coded character so it helps us to improve uh, already compressed techniques if you're repeating something it knows how to compress it how does it help uh, with the free license it is very much useful and widely used uh, it is suitable for both lossy and lossless compression techniques. The toolkit design of it, the modular design, helps us to uh, use appropriate coding methods for different reasons and different properties. The disadvantage though, in case of the lossy uh, mode, uh, we may have loss of information. So let's say a 6 may be getting represented by an 8. So that is something which we don't want. But overall, it helps us to use this compression technique in a document management system which needs large amount of data to be stored in an efficient way this is the performance metrics uh, for a particular technical report which is 23 pages long we have the size the original we have after compression file value in bytes for jpeg1 jpeg2 lossless and jpeg2 lossy to understand the steep improvement that it gives with this compression techniques further we move to Manan, who is going to explain us about the continuous tone image compression standard. Hello, this is Manan Asha. Now let us see the continuous tone image compression standards. Continuous tone images are the images having multiple channels, such as red, green and blue, each ranging from 0 to 255. So approximately 16 million combinations of colors can be found. The compression standards are as follows. JPEG JPEG is an image compression standard that was developed by Joint Photographic Experts Group. JPEG was formally accepted as an international standard in 1992. It is an algorithm designed to compress images with 24 bit depth or grayscale images. It is a lossy algorithm. One of the characteristics of algorithm used is the compression rate at which it can be adjusted on basis of the con coefficient of the quantization matrix. The algorithm is based on the fact that humans are more sensitive to luminance, that is the brightness of the pixel rather than the chrominance, the color of the pixels, and are more sensitive to changes in the homogeneous areas than in areas where there are more variation. JPEG is the most used format for storing and transmitting images across internet. Working 
Firstly, the RGB image is converted into YCBCR format, which consists of luminance, chroma blue, and chroma red. Next, the image is divided into 8 by 8 blocks and discrete cosine transform is applied on each block such that we get FUV for each block. Based on the quantization table, 8 by 8 block, we divide the DCT coefficient FUV with the values of quantization matrix and round it off to the nearest integer receiving F bar UV. These values are scanned using zigzag method. The F bar 0 0 is known as the DC component which is stored using differential pulse code modulation encoding method. The remaining values of F bar block are AC components encoded using run length encoding. The DC and AC components finally undergo entropy coding step to gain a possible further compression based on size and amplitude values. This is the block diagram for JPEG compression. The 8x8 block of YCBCR format image undergo, undergoes discrete cosine transformation which further are quantized using quantization table. The AC and DC components of this quantized table are further encoded using respective encoding method and at the end entropy encoding takes place which is set into data header and tables. Advantages JPEG support 24 bit color with up to 16 million colors. Hence it has been widely used for compressing and encoding digital images with high resolution. JPEG has advantages of compressing a digital image to a fall smaller file size. The degree of compression of particular digital image can be adjusted using JPEG trading off between the image quality and file size. Disadvantages A key disadvantage of JPEG standard is that it is a lossy compression. JPEG is not ideal for images with text or sharp lines and edges as it produces artifacts along the edges of two or more colors. JPEG standard is that it does not support opacity or transparency that would be saved with a solid white color in JPEG format. Poor bitrate compression as at low bitrate there is high rate of distortion in the image. There is mediocre text dis display due to compression. Application JPEG format is used to store or transmit graphical digital content. Used for transmitting the images on the internet and supported in all internet sites. Now let us see the next standard of compression JPEG 2000. JPEG 2000 was developed from 1997 to 2000 by Joint Photographic Experts Group. It was developed with the intention of superseding their original discrete cosine transform based JPEG standard. It uses discrete wavelet transform method instead of DCT for compression. Working The RGB image is converted into YCBCR format and divided into equal rectangular block for each channel that is luminance, chroma blue and chroma red. Now for each block, discrete wavelet transform is applied that is passed through low and high pass filter. For 2D image, the image is divided into 4 bands, low low, high low, low high and high high. Entropic coding is performed for further compression. This is the block diagram of JPEG 2000. The input image undergo color space transform which further undergoes wavelet transformation. This transformation further undergoes quantization and entropy coding is performed to receive the compressed image. Advantages When the image is encoded once using this standard, we can use platform dependent decoding at several resolution, which is dependent on the hardware and bandwidth available. Imaging operations can be performed on compressed version of the images such as cut, crop, etc. Region of interest encoding is achieved using this standard. Better quality image at smaller size in comparison to JPEG. Good quality at low bit rates. Disadvantages JPEG 2000 works only in certain browsers. JPEG 2000's encoding process is slower and more complicated than JPEG as more computation is required. Application Digital Cinema, Medical Imaging and Geographical Information System that is GPS system. Next standard is is JPEG LS. JPEG LS was defined to address the need for effective lossless and near lossless compression of continuous tone still images. JPEG LS is specially suited for low complexity hardware implementations with nearly lossless compression. 
JPEG LS uses predictive loss compression method. Working. JPEG LS examines previously seen neighbors of the current pixel to predict the value. The encoder examines the context of pixels and decides whether to encode the current pixel in run mode or the regular mode. The neighbors of pixel X are A, C, B, D, Y, Z. If the context of suggests that the pixel A, Y, Z and so on are identical, the encoder selects the run mode. In run mode, it finds the longest run of pixel having similar values and only the run of the length is to be encoded. If not identical, the encoder selects regular mode. With the help of A, B and C pixel, the encoder predicts the value X and subtracts from the actual value as an error. Only the prediction error is encoded using the Golomb code. This is the block diagram for JPEG LS. Only the errors having the probabilities are encoded and compressed into a bit stream. Advantages JPEG LS is based on low complexity algorithm. It is aimed at better compression of medical images. Disadvantages Limited compatibility Low compression ratio and it is not completely lossless but nearly lossless. Application Medical images Low complexity hardware Now let us see the research Now let us see the current research and recent trends. An efficient compression system for hyperspectral images was published. To optimize a compression system using Wavelet for hyperspectral images that are the images over electromagnetic spectrum. Two efficient compression methods that is embedded zero tree wavelet and set partitioning in hierarchical trees based on zero coding were adapted. The method gave similar performance to the JPEG 2000. The citations are as follows. In another, another paper, a hybrid predictive wavelet co coding which is a novel technique for image compression in which the Features of predictive coding are combined with the properties of discrete wavelet coding. The error values are obtained by taking the difference between the predictive, predicted values and original values. Discrete wavelet transform is applied on these error values. At compression ratio such as 64 is to 1 and higher, the result of this system has significant improvement over the JPEG 2000. The quality of the reconstructed images Using this method at compression ratio 1024 is to 1 was higher than the quality image quality of the image by JPEG 2000 at the compression ratio of 64 is to 1. The citation is as follows. In the third paper referred, a medical image compression approach was presented. In pre-processing, the image was passed through the DPCM. Then the application of wavelet transform is performed on the output of the DPCM. These coefficients are Huffman coded resulting in threefold compression. The DPCM DWT Huffman method performs well than the Huffman, DPCM Huffman and the DWT Huffman method. The compression ratio pro provided by these methods are 6.48, 4.32, 2.27 and 1.2 respectively. The citation is as follows. The fourth paper referred a hybrid method is proposed to compress an image by combining differential pulse code modulation and vector quantization. First, the image is discretely cosine transform and the coefficient of DCT are exactly scanned. The first coefficient is called the DC coefficient and rest are AC coefficient. DPCM is performed on the DC coefficient and multi-state vector quantization is used to code the AC coefficient. Then entropy encoding is performed. The proposed algorithm was superior in complexity time consuming but the compression ratio was better than the hybrid DCT VQ technique and conventional VQ algorithm. The citation is as follows. Conclusion We have explained the need and types of image compression standard. For bi-level images, four compression standards were discussed. CC ITT group 3, CC ITT group 4, JBIG 1 and JBIG 2. For continuous tone images, three compression standards were discussed, JPEG, JPEG 2000 and JPEG LS. Advantages, disadvantages and application and the performance of this standard were listed. Current research and research trends regarding this image compression standard were also discussed. 
The references are as follows. Thank you.